Our first guest uh, tonight is a very funny man starring in a, a new film entitled Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It opens on Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Jim Carrey. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Yeah, baby. First of all, th thank you very much for thank coming you. in. I mentioned this earlier. You don't need to be here. You don't need to be doing this little nickel and dime dog and pony show. Else to go. I don't believe that, but I we're grateful that go. you showed up. I'm so happy to be here. Nice to see you. And your your hair is different. And why is that? <laughs> yeah, I'm right. It's, it's Single different. white male, Dave. <laughs> Single white male. Yeah. I've been stalking you. No. <laughs> and uh, you're everything I want to be. <laughs> Well, there's a dream come true. <laughs> uh, no, I just, you know, I have to change my look all the time. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm in show business, you gotta keep fresh. It's, I'm kind of thought of as the Madonna of comedy. You know, <laughs> always reinventing myself yeah. and stuff so that someday I can look out at that crowd and go, I'm 60 and sexy. <laughs> you know? Oh. Madonna, 60 and sexy tour. <laughs> Uh -huh. Well, it's certainly effective. I mean, it's a real clean look. A lot of people say I look like Lance Armstrong, especially when I do this. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> See, Dave? Yeah. Right now, what you're doing is drafting. Yeah, I'm, dra I'm drafting. You're drafting. You're saving your energy yeah. for the end of the race. <laughs> and you're going to make your move pretty soon. Okay. Fantastic. Admit. There's no feeling like it, man. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Anyway. That's uh... hey, that could be a new dance. Yeah. See, around mile 50 is where I break away from the pack by just... Passing wind. <laughs> How you doing back there, Dave? Fine. That's, that's something lovely to be near. It's an, it's an image, you know. <laughs> Now, uh, when, you, when you come to New York City, and I don't know how long you're going to be in town, but it's a, a beautiful day. I mean, the spring, really, you can just feel it. You can breathe it. I love it. it. It's fantastic. Yeah. And what, what is a guy like? I'm like a rose in Spanish Harlem creeping up through the sidewalk yeah. on a day like today. Do you, do you get to I break through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you get to go out and enjoy yourself at all when you're in town? What kind of things can I, you do? I love it. You know, I was here for a long time last year. I was here for about, oh, five months. Well, they shot this film here. Yeah, we yeah. shot the film. And uh, I had such a great time because I'd never been here for more than a week. Mm -hmm. Well, I had a blast. I was using everything, man. I was going down to, you know, I was uh, Roosevelt Island playing tennis at night, mm -hmm. you know. It was great. Uh, I was uh, in the subway. I was eating stuff on the street, you know. It's just not even from the vendors. Yeah. Just stuff on the street. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> Because I was part of the city, you know, a I was real part of New it. New York yeah, experience. Exactly, uh -huh. steam over the, the manholes and stuff. Yeah. I just get a nice steam. <laughs> <laughs> Cleans your pores right out, man. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, gosh, I went to I went to Chelsea Pier to work out. I, I worked out in the boxing ring at Chelsea Pier in front of the whole city. And at the end of it, I would just say, "That's right, New York. That's what you call Krav Maga." <laughs> you know. I'm I'm sorry. You... <laughs> You call it what? Krav Maga. You ever hear that no. self-defense? I don't know. It's Israeli street fighting. Oh, I see. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, see the corner of that? Yeah. I could force that into your brain right now. All right. But I won't, because no, I ahead. like you. Why not? Go ahead. Ah. Uh, it would be far too vulgar a display of my powers. Now, you, uh... Oh, my God, my mom was right. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we had a point here. Now, are you, uh, uh, I know when you're ever on the show, you're, you're nice enough to always try new things, a little experimentational uh, sort of e interest in, in always making things, you know, like you say, keeping things fresh. Or I like to keep things interesting. Experimental yeah. stuff. Absolutely, in my work. And do you have a little something for well, us tonight? Even where about? I do the, when I do the, uh, a talk show, it's, it's, it's really hard to do something original. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you do it every day. It's yeah, we gave to... up on that years ago. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, you let that go? <laughs> Well, you do the same old stuff so well. <laughs> you 
really do. Well, that's what counts. <laughs> Yeah, what were you talking about? Oh, talking about, did you have something new you wanted oh, to share yes, with us the tonight? Experiment. The experiment. Yeah. The only thing I could think of, because I've been on so many shows and promoting and stuff, what's going to be rebellious nowadays? Mm, you know, right. Everybody's cursing, everybody's, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's like everything's crazy, you know, everybody's right. going for the limit. And I thought, well, what can be done? And the only thing that I could think of on a talk show that has never been done is not to talk. Mm. <laughs> sort of take a step back. Right. 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 Well, just what, I mean, if we could do the little experiment, it'd be really cool. What are you cool. talking about here? Can we do it? Can we experiment with this? I mean, what, what it would be. Well, it, I think it could be groundbreaking television. No, no, I really where, do. Where you don't talk or I don't talk? None of us talk. You, neither of us talk. None of us talk. You don't talk, I don't talk. We just sit here and the crowd, everybody, no one makes a sound or anything. It's as if this isn't happening. We're just <laughs> sitting in the park. All by ourselves. The band doesn't play. Nobody, yeah. Nobody does anything. Okay. Nobody speaks to each other. Right. And now, from now on, the, like in the next minute, when people tune in all across America, <laughs> they're going to see the freakiest television show they ever saw in their lives. Right. And this, I, this and will they'll make just history. Keep, they'll just keep going. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's different. It's counter programming. All right. Now, so I uh, have we okay, begun? So when do we let's begin? Let's begin right. And we should continue directing the show as if we're talking, though, by the way. It's, uh, I'm a control freak. I'll stop now. Okay, so starting now. That's for both of us. Yes, right, right now. That's really, can you excuse me, man? Just a second. <laughs> Who is the cell phone? Who's got the cell phone? Who has the cell phone? I see it coming from here, so. What's... Man, hey. this is New York. You should know better. This is a theater community. I'm sorry. He can't speak to you right now. <laughs> no. No, I'm sorry. No, he can't. Patients are. Hey, hey. <laughs> Dave, go to commercial. I gotta take a walk. All right. We'll be right back with Tim Carey. <laughs> now, I was talking to the audience uh, about this uh, movie earlier and it's uh, help me out here it's uh, uh, it's uh, people have their memories yeah eternal erased. sunshine is about you know loss of love it's about being uh, made invisible uh, <laughs> I, there are many people in here i'm sure that share the experience with me when you realize that they've gotten over you <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and that's basically what the movie is yeah. about in a figurative way. It's my girlfriend is kind of compulsive, and she uh, played by Kate Winslet brilliantly, Love by it. the way. Yeah. What a wonderful person. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, so she goes out and erases my memory, mm -hmm. and I find out about it. And so I go back to do the same, but halfway through the process, it works in reverse inside my head. So halfway through the process, we get to the good memories, the reasons why we loved each other, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I spend the rest of the movie trying to save whatever's left of her memory. Now, the, the, the man who directed this film is... is Michel Gondry. French. Yes, he's very French. Mm -hmm. uh, it was during no, the... No, what do you mean, he's whole, very, very French? What no, you know, well, there's French, and then there's very French, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's... he's all oh. I mean, French. Yeah. I mean, he's like, you know... It's like, you know, uh, don't say anything bad about the grape. No. Uh, uh, how is the grape? No. Um, you, uh, you just have to really try hard to right. understand what he's saying. It was very difficult, you know, but it, he was such an innovator, so interesting. All the special effects were done in camera, mm -hmm. which means the, uh, 
Like I would run around the camera and change my clothes if I'm in two, two right. places at the same time yeah. in a scene. And it was just madness. I was constantly arguing with him. I can't do it. It can't be done. I can't physically do that back and forth three times. And he would say, mm, how do you know until you try? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's extremely French. <laughs> You know, yeah. with an attitude like that, there would never be a hot air balloon. <laughs> and, and you must get in the balloon and fly. Uh -huh. and, and there's not a hot air balloon in the film, though, is no, there? No, no, but the French created oh, the hot I air balloon. Oh, I see, balloon. that's yeah, exactly so right. It goes yeah. right back yeah. to their core. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, let, let's just talk about this for a, for a moment. I'm stuck here, hold on. I'm sorry. If, if, uh, if we did have the technology by which a, a person's memory could be erased, and, and I guess it could be done, I guess it's some version of a, like electroshock. What's your or... name again? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> but uh, are, are there things about your life that you would like uh, removed from your... There's a couple of dates. Oh, dates. I wouldn't erase, mm -hmm. but I would definitely put them on the five minute delay. You know what I mean? Because you say stuff you want to mm -hmm. take back right. all the time, yeah. you know, constantly. But uh, I had one date, and you do things too. I, I, I have the Eugene factor working for me all the time, reminding me, to not get too serious. Uh, and that is, uh, you know, I, 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 I put my date in the passenger seat of the wrong truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, what do you mean? How do you, how do you, what is that? I, uh, I had a beautiful date, we had a wonderful time, and it was going really swimmingly. And, uh, and then I got out on the sidewalk, and I get nervous on the sidewalk, because people are looking at me, sure. photographers, whatever yeah. is going on. A lot of people waiting for their cars. And, and uh, I just saw a white vehicle come up, you know, in the thing, and I'm being cool. Hey, like that. I'm going to give him a 20, by the way. Uh, uh, and, uh, and, and I get her in the car, slam the door, walk around the car to yeah. the other side, and there's a woman getting in the, pa the driver's side of my car. And I said, why are you getting into my truck? Uh -huh. And she said, why is this woman in my truck? <laughs> And, I, and, and then the valet turned to me and said, this is not your truck, sir. <laughs> you know, and uh, everybody's French now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sir, your truck. <laughs> Interesting. C'est le garage. <laughs> uh, no, um, so he told me it wasn't my truck, uh -huh. and I walked around the side again in slow motion. Right. <laughs> I'm going to show her I'm an idiot. <laughs> and I opened the door and let her out of the stranger's truck and stood on the, on the sidewalk for the rest of the time with people snickering yeah. behind right. me and stuff. And I didn't even think about it. I thought to myself later on, I'm rich, man. I could have just bought the stupid truck right there. That's right. I could have bought the truck. There you go. Why be embarrassed by those types of things? Crazy. I tell you what, when we uh, come back, we're going to take a look at a little bit of Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless and Mind. And then you'll see... That's right, with Jim Carrey. Now, we want to, uh, want to, want to uh, show a little clip of the, the film, Eter Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Yes. It opens on Friday. Yes. It's interesting, it's different, it's well, yeah, fascinating. It's so original. Yeah. It really is. It's Charlie Kaufman, mm -hmm. who's completely, insanely original. And uh, by the way, you know, everybody has such reverence for his scripts mm -hmm. that there was like a line I didn't understand, so I called Michelle and I tried to get the uh, explanation from right. him, and he just went, hey, da, 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 da. and I went, okay, I'll call Charlie. Uh -huh. And I called Charlie, and I said, this line, I want to make sure it's, you know, it goes well, it's right, whatever. I gave him the line, he said, I don't know. Just take it out. <laughs> just take it out. Just take it out. <laughs> so, so, all this reverence for nothing. Yeah. You know, he's like, I don't remember what I was thinking. I think I was drunk. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, I think I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so this, you know, this, this clip, I want to set it up properly. Yes, please because, do. Uh, and jo is John back there? John? Uh, uh, John's going to come out and help me out I with don't, this. Who because, is John, by the way? Well, John is uh, going to do a little uh, thing with my but hair. I'm, is he's, he with, he's he, with yeah, you? Yeah, he's with the show. With the show. It, don't you know him? He's Hi, been John. here for 20 years, for God's sake. Dave, I'll, I'll have to come go through the office every once in a while. All right, I will. <laughs> okay, so what he's going to help me out by shaving a little portion of my head what? Uh, he's just going to shave a tiny bit of hair off here, just to, just to make the the, uh, the demonstration go smoothly. See, it's such a different film, you know, that I really wanted to give it a, a, a different kind of platform. Uh, it's kind of a heady project, you know. And uh, yeah, thanks. And uh, so. Thanks, John. Nice. Thank you very much, job. John. Good to All see right. you again. Now. <laughs> thank you, John. <laughs> now this clip. <laughs> this clip is uh, is a clip about. Uh, let me let me get ready here. Uh, 
We're good. Okay, this clip is, uh, and feel free to move my head if I'm not in the right place. Oh, that's all right. Are you, are you, were you in the <laughs> AV club? Because I guess that's where this all comes from. Yeah. I was part of the okay. AV club. Anyway, so the clip is a memory uh, in the movie that is being erased, an unpleasant memory that Joel's having that's being erased. Uh -huh. There. There. <clears throat> Want to go? Baby. Let's talk about it later. No, I want to have a baby. I don't think we're ready. You're not ready. Well, do you really think you could take care of a kid? What? I don't want to talk about it here. I can't hear you. I can never the f understand what you're saying. Don't want to talk about this. Twist. Talk about it. You want? You can't just say something like that and say you don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry. I'd make a good mother. Wow. The whole movie takes place inside my head, so I figured. <laughs> the weird thing is that, that that my head, they found out, is the perfect aspect ratio for this film. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's why I'm. And let me ask you it. something. Do you think shaving your head was worth it? Walking around, walking around like that now is going to be okay? I'll, I guess it'll be funny, me in the hotel room tonight, just watching it, going. <laughs> <laughs> a good laugh, though, right? <laughs> hey, guys. It's fine. Good laugh, though. <laughs> well, <clears throat> thanks again, Jim, for uh, making the effort to be here. We always enjoy No problem, it. Dave. <laughs> Anytime I can come here and self-mutilate, I'll do that. <laughs> I appreciate that. that. Uh, the film opens on Friday, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Jim Carrey, ladies and gentlemen. Nice job, Jim. Thank you very much. So much fun.